Let's look to Ontario next, where teachers' unions are mounting a labour complaint about the conditions they will face when schools begin to reopen. Laura McQuillan is here with some of their concerns. Heather, four teachers' unions that represent some 190,000 teachers and school workers say that Ontario's reopening plan actually violates the province's own workplace safety rules. That's the challenge that they are planning to take to Ontario's Labour Board, and they're asking it to issue orders that would compel the province to do a few different things. They want standards around class sizes that would ensure distancing of two metres inside classes. They want a maximum bubble size for for each uh, class bubble as students will be placed in those once they get back to their classrooms. They want uh, improved ventilation and they also want changes to transport, namely busing, because there are concerns about how many students will be transported at one time. They had set some government ministries a deadline of Friday to agree to do those things, but that deadline came and went and now the unions say they must act. Here's a bit more detail from one of those unions. We have classrooms with uh, uh, not even a meter physical distancing between uh, students or desks. Uh, we have school buses that are going to run at full capacity. Many of our members are concerned about their health and safety, uh, and they're looking at uh, taking a leave of absence, unpaid leave of absence, for example, because they're concerned about that. Um, you know, it, it, it's up to this government uh, to step up uh, and to deal with the issues that everyone around them uh, is highlighting. And the unions also say that the province should fund those changes, not leave it up to school boards to pay for it out of their reserves, Heather. This has been a recurring issue at the daily briefings from the Ford government. Laura, how is the Premier responding to these latest moves? Well, once again, he has been very critical of teachers' unions. We've seen that in recent days, recent weeks, really coming out hard and hammering them over the return to school plan. And yesterday he gave this analogy. He said personal support workers, when they had to go to long-term care homes amidst uh, the peak of the COVID outbreak, he described them as being like firefighters walking into a burning building apparently trying to draw a contrast with what is about to happen in schools if unions have their way. He came out hitting at unions yesterday again, and here's what he said. We have done absolutely everything, everything, everything that they've wanted, everything that the, the, uh, the advice from uh, the health table, everything from the Ministry of Health, everything from the Minister of Education. We, we're sparing nothing. Every idea possible we're, we're putting into the classroom. We create the safest environment we possibly can for everyone. And the teachers unions just want to fight. They want to fight with everyone. So as you saw there, it looks like the gap between the two sides here is a real gulf right now. But the teachers unions do hope that the Labour Board will come up with a solution in their favour. They're asking for that to be expedited, Heather, because of course, school just a matter of days away in Ontario. Thank you very much, Laura McQuillan.